people, say Martin Luther King, he changed the laws, but he couldn't eliminate racism. That had to come from a more internal place. I think that's actually worth exploring a little bit more because um, Martin Luther King, um, there were a number of different components that were successful, I guess, in his particular approach. There was a protest element, which was necessary in its day, but if that's all it was, I don't think the movement would have been successful. The thing about Martin Luther King, I think, that was far more successful than the protest was actually there was a positive vision about what to do about it. So it wasn't just saying we think racism is wrong. It was also a message of hope. It was a positive, constructive message which said to white America, this is below your dignity. This is a vision of the type of society that we should be a part of. And that was a compelling vision. It was a vision which captured the imagination of white America as well. So suddenly you had people who were receptive to change, eager for change, instead of what we often have, which is a battle for change. As long as we construct this as a battle, there's a win and there's a lose. And as long as there's a win and a lose, it's going to be very difficult for us to have meaningful change. What we need to do is construct it as a win-win, and the way we construct win-win is with vision. Where there's vision and where that vision is compelling, where that vision is attractive, people want change. And ultimately, that's how we see meaningful change in our society. So sort of like a Baha'i perspective, you're arguing that he had a spiritual base. The kind of changes he, were, he was making had a sort of a deeper aspect to it. I think that's true. I think, um, again, I think when we use the word spiritual, uh, people often misconstruct that word. So they think of institutions, they think of church. But spirituality is not about the institutionalization of religion. It's about the spirit which animates our soul, the spirit which animates who we are, the qualities, the characteristics of, you know, the triumph, if you will, of the human soul. So when we think about then the qualities that make us human, you know, fairness, justice, love, uh, you know, these things, these are the qualities that define spirituality. And absolutely, whenever you're talking about positive, constructive social change, ultimately, you're talking about spirituality. You're talking about empowering those positive characteristics of the soul. So there's no doubt about it that whenever you're really talking about meaningful, social, positive change, you're appealing to those characteristics the sense of fairness in people, a sense of justice, a sense of compassion, uh, etc. So ultimately, deep down at their core, these, these movements, these social movements, are inherently really spiritual movements. Mm -hmm.